Hi everyone, welcome to the Fashion Experiment. I am Dr. Bridget, your professor of all things fashion. And today's topic is apparel fabrics. Fabric is the most important ingredient to any fashion product. So anyone working in the fashion industry needs to have some understanding about fabric and on the academic side we call it textiles and textiles is fabric science you know understanding how fabrics are constructed and understanding their characteristics and today i'm just going to discuss the basics of apparel fabrics and another lesson will be on textiles so let's get started apparel fabrics so the number one thing that uh we do as consumers is make decisions about fabric based on what they look like i like that oh i really like that print or oh i really like that color and that's the wrong thing to do if you're in in the industry from a production side it's all about the actual type of fabric okay natural man-made synthetic or what have you and its characteristics and then colors and prints and patterns can be determined later so history and development when we talk about fabric you need to understand that it is constructed it's created fabric is created it does not come you know like we see it in a store when we purchase a product okay so i want you to imagine a cotton ball okay so a cotton ball is very similar to a the consistency of, of a cotton ball is very similar to a cotton plant and imagine in your mind you have a cotton ball and you pull pull the different pieces away and those those little pieces that we're pulling off the cotton ball represent fibers they represent fibers so it's an extremely fine hair like strand so i pull the little piece of cotton ball off and i have a fiber and then my next bullet here is a yarn we take the fibers and then we can twist the fibers when we twist the fibers together we can create yarns and they just long continuous strands of fibers that have been spun and twisted together okay so now you have a yarn and then you take the yarn and from the yarn we create fabric you can take the yarn the long continuous strands of threads and knit them together weave them together or bind them together to create fabric okay so that's just a visual in your brain and fibers yarns are used to create so many products it really spans i mean every industry you can think of fibers exist they touch the healthcare industry they touch automobile industry they touch the apparel industry of course and then within the apparel industry it also impacts um protective gear so here i have a image of an astronaut but you can also imagine a police officer firefighter soldiers all of the gear that they wear to protect them are made of fibers okay i have a a net bag here is made of nylon where we have the oranges diapers are made of fibers tea bags are made of fibers sutures and different bandages that are used to bandage up wounds are made of fibers so many different things are made of fibers and like i said before for fashion professionals it's important to understand how those fibers work how they work and how they perform so that when you select a specific fabric, it not only has the look and appearance that you know your customer wants, but it's also gonna provide the performance 
and the features that they're looking for too, and the functionality. So apparel designers and manufacturers share the responsibility for selecting fabrics. Okay, so product developers work with and work for retail establishments and then manufacturers also work and produce products for retailers. So both um, businesses and the individuals that work in them need to have a very good understanding of fabric in addition to individuals who work at textile mills where fabrics are created. You know, those fibers are broken down and cleaned, twisted and spun into yarn using different machines and technology and dyed the different colors and printed in different ways. So all across the retail industry, at the different stages, everyone needs to have an understanding of fabrics and how they are produced and used. So all fabrics are based on two kinds of fibers. Okay, so this is our original source, the source of the fiber, because that's where we begin. So it can either be natural, which is naturally occurring in the earth, get cotton from a plant, get wool from a sheep, silk from a worm, linen from a plant, flaxseed. Um, and then the other category is man-made fibers. So we can mix different chemical compounds to create fibers from chemicals. And that gives us um, fabrics like polyester, rayon, lin nylon, excuse me, and spandex. And then we can also create what's called fabric blends by blending the natural and the man-made. And your most common blend is cotton and polyester. All right, so once you have your fiber, you twist and spin the fibers into yarns. And then to create the fabric, we can either weave the yarns together, knit the yarns together, or bind them together. All right, so this picture shows a woven fabric, and this picture shows a knitted fabric. Woven fabric is where you just lay straight yarns in a crosswise from left to right, and up and down lengthwise, you lay them straight across one another. So we see that straight ends. When we knit, we are looping. You see the little dips? Those are loops. So we bend the fabrics. We bend the fibers, excuse me. We bend the fibers and loop them together. So the construction is different. And that's how you get the woven and the knit. Woven fiber fabrics are um, stronger. Knitted fabrics provide more stretch and shape because of the looping. And then there's what's called fabric grain. So once you have constructed your woven or your knitted fabric, then you want to inspect it because there can be errors. It has to be done exact. Those yarns, if we're making a woven fabric, they have to be straight consistently throughout the process. If there are any curves, then the fabric will be distorted. The same with the knit. They have to be looped consistently the same way across and up and down the width of the fabric. And if not, it will create some imperfections. So the grain is what represents the direction of the yarns. Okay. You can have up and down yarns that I will call lengthwise, and then the yarns that run left to right, across wise. And there's other terms that we use, a warp for the lengthwise up and down, or a weft for the crosswise left and right. But just to make it simple, I use the term length right, lengthwise for up and down, the length of something or the height of it. 
and crosswise for left to right. Because those are just the basic generic terms for, you know, someone who really has no knowledge of textiles. And the grain is important because it impacts the end result, which is the garment that you're going to make from it. So as I said in the very, very beginning part of the um, chat, where I said all fashion professionals need to have a understanding of fabric because it's your main ingredient for your garment. So if you look at a fabric and you're just looking at it based on the color in the print, you would never, you would never inspect the grain. You would never inspect it for any imperfections because you're making a choice based on color and a print or a pattern. But a professional would not do that. You have to make sure there are no imperfections in the product, which is your fabric. And then when you go to use the fabric to create a garment, you have to position your pattern pieces a certain way so that you cut it on grain if that's part of the instructions or off grain. It just depends on what your instructions are. But fabric grain is important. So here's another visual of a woven fabric. And you see what I said on the previous slide. Now you see it. So your lengthwise go up and down. And that's just a piece of yarn. And it's also referred to as a warp. And then your crosswise grains, yarns go left to right. And it's also referred to as a weft. And then you see how the yarns are crisscross. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. And we use what's called a, a, a fabric, not a fabric, but a loom. A loom to create fabrics. It's a machine. You don't do it by hand. It was done by hand until the, I don't know, I would say the early 19th century where uh, the machine was created. Oh. And is that it? Yes, that is all. So that's the end of our chat about apparel fabrics. Hope you enjoyed it, everyone. And I will see you for our next lesson. Have a great one. Class is dismissed.